Good morning everyone and welcome to a video series that I'm going to call Fast Friday. So the reason I'm calling it Fast Friday is that this video is going to be about tracking some progress with intermittent fasting. My little adorable son is um, up and active so if you hear him commentating in the background that's what's going on. Isn't that right daddy? But anyway, I just want to get straight into the video. I am wanting to do a quick video on a Friday, which I'll pro probably try and do live in the future. Uh, I want to do it one take unedited because it's something that I won't have time to do, spend a lot of time on every week. So we've got Jenny wanting to participate. Um, anyway, let's keep on to this. So. I am wanting to lose some weight post-pregnancy. I am actually two kilo, little bit of stats for you. Um, I was, my happy weight is 64 kilos, which is where I feel good. I feel like um, I like how I look in clothes and whatnot. I, before I fell pregnant, I was 72 kilos, so higher than I would have liked to be, obviously. I got up to 96 kilos in pregnancy and after pregnancy lost all that without doing much at all. Um, breastfeeding definitely helped. I've walked quite a lot with Jed in the pram but I haven't gone on any long lasting diets. I have tried a few times to write some programs for myself that were with predetermined like calorie amounts um to to control that way and i did lose a little weight but i found that i was unable to stick to it long term um oh okay yep that's fine so i okay i'm wanting to so at the moment i'm 70 kilos which is two kilos less than i was before i fell pregnant so that's fine and everything but i would like to get down to closer to 64 before starting to try for another baby which will be sometime this year uh i have been trying to do this for quite some time but i'm just not really getting anywhere one of the things that i really struggle with personally is um emotional eating and it can be any emotion it can be uh stress it can be happiness it can be um boredom like there's no sort of limit i just really like food and i think particularly as a mum at home um sometimes struggling with a little bit of like repetition in the day or um tiredness as well you're it's it's really tempting to reach for quick sugar fixes and um, like carbs and stuff. So that probably hasn't been helping me. Uh, so getting to the point, what I'm trying to say, oh yeah, emotional eating. So that's a real tricky one for me. And I think when I've tried to do the programs where I pr where I pre-write what I'm eating, even if I sort of build in a little treat, it doesn't help me i i'm too tempted and i think that the temptation kind of sets me up for failure um so i want to i need to try something i need to try something new uh with weight loss different things work for different people back in the day when i was a, early 20s i had some success with the calorie counting model um eating basically the same type of thing every day and i was running five days a week and that really helped me to lose weight when i <coughs> came back from living in london similar weight to what i am now um over a period of six months i gradually lost um that weight so it was really good sustainable weight loss but i just feel like where I am in my life right now, which is 10 years later, that type of thing, it's just, it's not really working for me. Now, I know that um, a good model might be to look at um, portion sizes and um, servings of like proteins, carbs, fats, and whatnot, and that sounds fabulous. However, I just don't think that I have the 
time or the didn't all the time that's an excuse um i don't think i have the discipline for it and like i said i think you need to look at what works for you as an individual um because something different works for everybody so i'm just chasing a toy around the floor what? yes jetty look <coughs> can you get it so what i'm going to try is intermittent fasting now i have tried this in the past and it did work for me for weight loss and i feel like it's the type of thing that is reasonably easy to do um i haven't done it up until now in this process because i have been breastfeeding and i just didn't really want to mess around with supply or anything like that but because i am trying to uh, because i am in the process of kind of winding down that that part of uh, winding down breastfeeding, I feel like it's okay for me to now explore that again. I need to do a little bit more research on intermittent fasting, but the way that I understand it now is that um, you're by lessening the gap of time in which you're eating. So for example, for me, I would push back the time till my first meal until 12 o'clock say and have um so skip breakfast and any snacking in between and um so i guess during that time i guess your body's using um okay jed i'll get it for you your body's using uh, a different source of fuel for energy so i oh i guess it's burning here you go darling here you go good boy um what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I guess your body's burning, I don't know, fat, something else for fuel. Um, the other thing that I've read about intermittent fasting is that it sort of allows your body to focus on other healing. So your body isn't focused on digestion, it then becomes focused on, I guess, doing other repairs or things in the body so that it can have different health properties besides potential weight loss so with the actual weight loss this is just me talking from an, a relatively low level of understanding so don't take my word for it i need to read up on this but aside from the fact that your body's probably burning a different fuel source in that widened gap when you're not eating i'm assuming that because you're eating food within a smaller window of time you'll probably be eating a little bit less overall for that day i'm guessing i think some people maybe cram a lot into that uh window of eating i don't know um so i know for me because i have been doing uh, a bit of emotional eating in the morning after i have a healthy breakfast there might be some unhealthy snacking between breakfast and lunch um so that's only going to be a good thing for me to cut that out so here's what i'm thinking i'm thinking of trying monday wednesday friday as inter intermittent fasting days so to stop eating around we'll be finished dinner by about 6 30 i guess and then to start eating again the next day at midday when i'll sit down and have lunch with jed um i'm also thinking of when i cut out the morning breastfeed instead of um while in while my husband's showering i'm thinking of coming down uh, and doing some exercise like strength exercises and things like that just to add that into the mix so i want to keep this under 10 minutes so i'm going to wrap it up but that's my plan and i think i will check in every friday and let you know how i'm going with with everything and sort of to try and keep me accountable so i feel like i'm really putting myself out there by doing this it's a little bit like it kind of feels a bit personal but i think i need a push and we'll see how it goes okay thanks for watching see you next time bye